Hi James, I'm just responding to your module one discussion plan. Um, first thing I want to say is um, I thought it was very interesting that uh, Coweta County is developing a new strategic plan um, for the next five years. Um, I think that's awesome that you guys have had have met as an administrative team and had to retreat and kind of discuss the new vision for the school system. To me, it would be very interesting to be a part of something like that um, from the beginning to the end to see how the whole process takes place as far as developing a mission. So I'm sure that you are doing a great job with that. Um, I like the idea that once the mission is developed in the beliefs of the philosophy of the school system, then now it's up to the, it, the, the individual administrators on the elementary and the high school and the middle school levels to come up with their with their vision for their school now in conjunction with the count with the school district's vision um it's a year-long plan so i think that was a good time frame to kind of give you an idea to kind of look at different um discuss with all your stakeholders internal external and just um to try to see if this is something a vision or a mission that's truly going to work for your school system so um I understand that it's going to be kind of interesting for you doing pre-planning to try to get your mission out and um, to try to get everybody on the same page and get used to the idea of the new mission. Um, I like the new mission statement, um, successful students and powerful school and for life and life skills. Um, I teach exceptional education, so life skills is major for me. So I think that's great. I think that's the area that we're really lacking in. Um, I also love the word empower. I think and power just sounds so powerful and strong and it makes people feel like they're really a part of things. Mm, not only for the students, I think empower is just a word that just hits home to even to teachers and staff. A lot of times we have things going on in our lives, personal, personal and professional. So I like the word empower. It makes me feel, would give me a strong sense of urgency and, and feeling like it's really, a, you know, a call to duty to come and try to serve these students. So I really like the word empower. I also liked how you discuss a consistent message, that it needs to be a consistent message so that people kind of buy into your statement and what you're doing. Um, I like the idea of consistency. And I, I, you know, I wonder, being in the elementary school, if your message could kind of be consistent and run along with the high school or the middle school. I know in high school we get kids and a lot of times they're totally you know, they don't know the mission. They're totally kind of off center. But I was wondering at the elementary school if it's a possibility if you guys could work in conjunction, even with your high schools and middle schools, to see if the mission can carry over and if some of the things you're doing in the elementary school can carry up to the middle school and in turn carry up to the high school. Um, I think you, I agree with you also. You said a new vision is. Um, should be a shared commitment. I think everybody has to be accountable for doing their part and everybody has to know their roles. So I think doing pre plan would be a good time for you guys to sit down and talk, kind of discuss it, kind of hash it out, and then just kind of see where it goes from there. Um, I also like the, the, the uh, common goal that you, were, you stated in your video um, about developing a, an area or a type of, or opportunity to have dialogue about the achievement and learning and to see if you, in fact, were doing a good job as a leader. I think there's nothing wrong with reevaluating yourself and just kind of doing a checks and balances type thing. I'm sure you're doing a great job. But, um, and the fact that you feel like you need to, to reevaluate, that's a sign right there that you, you know that sometimes you can, we can always do a little bit better. We don't want to push ourselves too hard, but we know we can always do a little bit better. And there's nothing wrong with a little improvement. We, even as a staff and as administrators and teachers, we should kind of develop our own standards of growth and areas where we need to work on. So I just want to say I really enjoyed your video. Um, and I'm looking forward to seeing how you, you get your, your mission and your vision going at the local school at Welch Elementary. Um, I want to say good luck on your goals and good luck on your new mission. And I'll talk to you soon.